Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in my 3D code series. Now, in case you haven't noticed, it's uh, kind of my personal mission to get 3D code videos on YouTube that are uh, simple, easy to understand and available because there aren't that many. And I've been working with 3D code for uh, quite a bit, but I found it very, very hard to find good tutorials. So uh, hopefully I can help with that. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be looking at the bridge tool. Now, we all know the bridge tool in Maya, or at least a lot of you do, and in other applications like Blender and whatnot. How do you do that in 3D Code? So, uh, I'm going to show you. So, we're going to go to the poly modeling room. I'm going to go up here and uh, create a 3D primitive. Let's do a cube. And uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like this. So, we'll click on apply and we still have our placeholder in here so let's go in here and click on apply again and now we click on select up here and we now have two cubes right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove four faces at this end and remove four faces at this end and see if we can bridge them right so what i need to do is i need to select these faces and as you can see it's jumping around on edges right now so i'm going to go up here click on faces and I'm going to select uh, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to go over here to this guy. And again on faces, one, two, three, four, and hit delete. And now just check my cubes, make sure I didn't delete too much. I, I actually did a little bit, I took a little bit away from the blue cube, but that's fine for this purpose. What we're going to do is we're going to go to edges and they're actually already both uh, selected as you can see right and we're going to right click and we're going to go and look for our bridge command and it's right here so we're going to click on bridge and whoop you do there you have it yeah i just love the space mouse just playing around with it so yeah it works pretty much the exact same way as it would in uh, another application like Maya or whatnot so and here are some uh, options you can bump up that subdivision level to bring it back to exactly like it was uh, you can even put in a twist if you want uh, and again same as in Maya uh, the smooth uh, uh, type you can choose that if you like uh, you can go in here and do something like this and I haven't messed with that just yet, but I'll leave it a linear. And then you can reverse shape. I'm not quite sure what that does, but we'll get to that in a later video, right? But just a straight up bridge function is pretty much the same as in other applications. So yeah, one more tool in your tool belt, okay? That's it for me. See you guys in the next video. Bye.